Hello everyone, welcome once again to Geospatial Tutorial. Today let us learn how to model NDVI or NDWI in ArcGIS. However, using the same methodology just by altering the formula, you can carry out all other indices as well. So first of all, let us see what is the NDVI. NDVI stands for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index and the formula is as follows that is near infrared minus uh, visible red divided by near infrared plus visible red. As you would have already know that uh, every satellite image consists of a number of bands and each band corresponds to a particular portion of electromagnetic radiation. Similarly, in this case as well, visible red corresponds to a particular portion of the electromagnetic spectrum and near infrared also corresponds to a particular portion of electromagnetic radiation. We will be using those two bands and carrying out the formula as shown here to get NDVI. In a satellite image, the bands are named 1, 2, 3, 4 and not as RGB. So first of all, we need to see which band corresponds to which portion of electromagnetic spectrum before carrying out NDVI study. Let us go here and uh, see that what is the band that we are looking at. In this particular example, we will be using Landsat 7. So this is Landsat 7 and let us see what are the bands. We are looking at band number 4 and 3 because we are looking at near infrared and red bands. So these are the wavelengths of these uh, portions of electromagnetic spectrum. So let us use band number 4 and 3 of Landsat 7 to... Now that you know the basics of NDVI, let us go to Arc Map and open the Landsat 7 image. This is a 2002 image of Landsat. And here you go this is the image but of course it doesn't look like a normal satellite image that is because of the band combination just double click here and go to symbology there you have uh, band 1 2 3 displayed but the best and ideal combination is always band 4 3 and 2 this is generally Hold, holds good for most of Landsat uh, satellite probably except a Landsat 8. Let's click OK and this is your satellite image in FCC. FCC means false color composite and uh, all vegetation in the image are shown in red. That is because the vegetation, a healthy vegetation reflects maximum solar radiation in near infrared band but among the visible band that is among the bands that human eye can see it reflects maximum in green portion of electromagnetic uh, spectrum in the visible region that's why for a naked eye we see vegetation as green where Whereas if you use entire electromagnetic spectrum, it reflects maximum in near infrared region. But we will be calculating NDVI using only two bands, that is layer number 4 and layer number 3. So we will have to take those two bands separately in your arc map. Click Add. Click add to go to your uh, image and if you single click here and press add it will add to your screen. If you double click this you will see all the layers in that image. Let us uh, take layer number 4 and uh, shift and 
layer number three so that we can select both the images together and add them to the screen these are layer number four and three namely near infrared and red bands once you have done this let's go to arc toolbox if arc toolbox is not available here you can take it from here in arc toolbox you have uh, spatial analysis tools double click on that you have map algebra double click on that you have raster calculator tool double click on that now what this raster calculator basically does is it can freeze out the operation that we define over here on the corresponding pixels of the two images or two bands to give you the final output here in this case we'll be using layer number four and three let us see what is the formula for ndvi so in the numerator we have near infrared minus visible red band let's go so near infrared is layer number four before before you select layer number four make sure that you select float because you will be interested in decimals as well not only on the integer so let us consider float and uh, double click layer stack layer number four that is infrared and here is your uh, negative sign and click layer stack layer three so this is your numerator and press division button and let us see what is in the numerator it is near infrared minus uh, visible red so let us uh, consider the float again and uh, layer stack four addition and layer three this is your map algebra expression for this particular ndvi model you can define the output i'll uh, keep the output uh, as uh, the default value and click ok to see our results your uh, process has just begun let's wait for it to complete now there you go your result uh, has uh, just come you can uh, see that the result varies from minus one to plus one theoretically that is what your uh, NDVI results should show up. However, if you have a feeling that why is there only two values? No, it is not the case. Just double click on that and uh, you can go to classified to get the range of values. You have range of values here. As you can see, you can change the number of classes if you want it to be more number in classes. Uh, let me consider default. I will not uh, use uh, classified. I will keep it as it is so this is my uh, result now you can see that vegetation is highlighted and other features have been suppressed you can go to this portion where it is vegetation just zoom in this is the vegetation that is highlighted now you can just concentrate on this portion uh, which is uh, covered by good amount of uh, vegetation and uh, this is quite well highlighted as you can see in the result just uh, let's uh, remove the result and see in the other band how is the reflected you can see that this portion is not that greatly highlighted when you go to raster uh, calculator result that is your ndvi you can very clearly see that the vegetation portion is very well highlighted which means to say that this plus one value and values very close to this plus one are corresponding to the vegetation and all other values are just below them 
So it will be very easy for you to carry out uh, a digital analysis as well because all your uh, values of your NDVI result will be having values close to plus one wherever you have vegetation. So it is possible for you to carry out uh, any digital analysis on your attribute table. To have a better visualization, let's uh, double click on this and go to symbology and select a color ramp which has a green towards this end which will be the thing what we'll be looking at because uh, the vegetation is generally represented in green let's consider this one so that you can see vegetation in green click ok and this is your NDVI result with all green portion representing the vegetation or very healthy vegetation as the color comes below here it goes to other features so now let us see what is NDWI ND NDWI is normalized difference water index which works on a similar principle and uh, highlights water bodies and suppresses other features. So the NDWI formula goes like this band number 2 minus band number 4 divided by band number 2 plus band number 4. The actual formula for NDWI will be green minus near infrared divided by green plus near infrared. Let us uh, go to the band combinations of uh, Landsat, we'll be considering near infrared and green bands. Let us go to arc map and carry out the process of NDWI. Let's hide the NDVI result and bring it down. We are not interested in layer number three because we will be using layer number four and two. So let's remove it. Let's add layer number two. Now that we have added layer number two, let's uh, go to Arc Toolbox and select Raster Calculator. And the formula as we have seen, do not forget to add a float and band number two minus band number four divided by band number two before that do not forget to add float band number two plus band number four that completes your formula uh, I'll uh, keep the default uh, output raster you can change it if you want and click OK now your uh, process has just begun let's wait for the result There you go, your uh, result has just been produced. As you can very clearly see, the water bodies are quite bright. So here also the values vary from minus one to plus one and here in this case, plus one is the reflectance from the water bodies. So for a better visualization, we can go to the properties and uh, if you want to, to see the different values go to classified just to verify that your uh, value is varying from this value to this value so let's consider the default that is uh, stretched and uh, change the color ramp so that we have water bodies in blue color let's see which is having blue at the end let me take this one and click OK. Now your water body is are highlighted in blue color. So here as well your digital analysis will be easy because all your water bodies will be close to plus one value. So this is all about uh, calculating or modeling NDVI and NDWI using uh, Landsat image in Arc GIS. However, you can uh, carry out any indices using uh, raster calculator tool as I have shown just by varying the formula accordingly.
the popular indices like NDBI that is building index or snow index you just change the formula you can just search through online to get the formula and apply the same formula here in your raster calculator to get the desired output but however one very important thing is that never forget to add a float before your formula so that your decimals are preserved that's all about uh, basic modeling of indices using ArcGIS. Thanks for watching.